Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got ready doing my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. And I'm so excited because I've actually teamed up with Private Show by Britney Spears Fragrance. And when they came to me with this opportunity, I was like, of course, Britney Spears is someone that I've looked up to for a really long time. And this perfume, I feel like is a reflection of what she is, confident, sexy, beautiful, independent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see how I got this look, then just just keep watching. So today I'm actually going to get started with my eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and prime them using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm just going to blend that in with a concealer brush. Since I'm going for that smoky effect, I'm actually going to take this NYX Eyeshadow Pencil and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. And don't worry about having a perfect line because I actually want this look to be very smoky. So the messier, the better. I'm going to take a blending brush and just make sure that I don't have any harsh lines on my lids. And now taking that same brush, I'm just going to work this warm eyeshadow into my crease. I did go ahead and use a bigger brush because I did want to diffuse the color a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go in with the warmer shadow in the palette. I'm obsessed with this palette and I'm just going to work this all the way on my lid. I did go ahead and apply the shadow a little bit higher than where my lid ends just because I do have really small lids. So this is a tip for you guys who also have really small lids but want your eyes to pop a little bit more. Then I'm going to take the dark brown eyeshadow and a blending brush by Urban Decay Cosmetics and I'm just going to work this from the outer parts to the inner parts of my crease and just remember take your time blending because the more you blend the more diffused your eyeshadow will look then I'm going to take this coppery shade and I did go ahead and spray my brush because I did want that wet effect on my lids I'm also only going to apply this on the center of my lid I want this look to pop even more so I'm going to take that champagne golden color from the palette and that same brush and then I'm going to apply it on the center of where I applied that copper color. Once I'm done with my lids, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner in my waterline. I'm using my favorite NARS pencil. I will be using false eyelashes today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my lashes with some mascara. Today I'm actually opting out for something different than my regular thick wing eyeliner. I'm actually going to substitute it by using a dark brown eyeshadow just to make my eyes pop even more because I do want you to be able to see this look and I feel like sometimes with my deep black eyeliner it can sometimes cover up the eyeshadow so I'm just going to wing it out a little bit using some dark brown eyeshadow. To prep my skin today I'm actually going to use my favorite face primer at the moment which is my Tarte face primer. For foundation today I'm going to be using another favorite. It's a Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation and I'm just going to apply this with my beauty blender. And now for concealer today and to highlight my under eyes, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And I'm going to take the same Beauty Blender and just blend that under my eyes. I am using my Beauty Blender Damp because I feel like that's the best way for me to apply my concealer and my foundation. Then I'm just going to set my concealer with my NARS Pressed Powder. And now to contour today, I'm actually going to be using one of my favorite bronzers, and this is NARS Laguna. And I'm also using a Urban Decay brush, one of their new ones from the newer collection. And I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheekbones, my temples, and a little bit under my jawline. I do feel like I need a little bit of color on my face, so I'm going to go in with this Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham bronzer, and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. It is going to bring a little bit of dimension to my skin. It also has a little bit of a glow and shimmer in it, so I love how it makes my skin look. For blush today, I'm using this one by Charlotte Tilbury. I just recently got it, and it's perfection. It's like the perfect color on my face. And now to highlight my face, I'm going to use the golden shade from the Kathleen Lights and Makeup Geek palette. Under my lower lashes, I'm going to take the dark brown eyeshadow and just smoke that out because I do want this look to be a little bit more dramatic. And I feel like when you add a little bit of a dark brown eyeshadow or any dark eyeshadow, it just makes your eyes pop even more. 
On my inner corner, I'm actually going to mix these two golden shades, and I'm actually going to apply that in the inner corners of my eyes and a little bit under my brow bone. I also want to contour my nose, so I'm using my NARS Eda brush and the same Laguna bronzer, and I'm just going to apply this on the sides of my nose. Finally, for lipstick today, I'm using this one in Exposed by Kylie Jenner and Kylie Cosmetics. So this is the final look. I love how this makeup turned out. It's so bronzy, coppery, and beautiful. And now for my hair, I actually wanted to do something different. I wanted to have my hair up. I always wear my hair straight, so I figured I'll do something different today. And plus, my hair is like on its fourth day, so I needed something different and quick. So I just went ahead and tied my hair up in a bun. I went ahead and took my eyebrow pencil, well, the spoolie on the eyebrow pencil, and just brushed out my baby hairs. And here's a little tip for you guys who also have those empty spots on the front of your head. Take the dark brown eyeshadow, any dark brown eyeshadow will work, and just apply it and you will be good to go. Now for perfume today, I'm actually going to be using Private Show Britney Spears Perfume. Oh my god, this smells so delicious. And growing up, I've actually owned several perfumes by Britney Spears, but this one is special because it was actually created with some of her favorite scents, including whipped cream coffee, dulce de leche, luminous amber, which adds a little bit of seductiveness, and nectarine to complete the energizing sweet scent. I just love how it makes me feel. It just makes me feel confident, sexy, and beautiful. And I don't know about you guys, but when I put on a perfume that makes me feel that way, I feel like I can take on my day. So this is basically the final look. Now we're gonna move on to our outfit. And for my outfit today, I wanted to keep it casual but still dressy. I'm obsessed with all like the fall colors, that rustic orange, green, nudes, browns. So this is what I came up with and it's so comfy and cute and I feel like you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's perfect for any occasion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Private Show Britney Spears Fragrance for teaming up with me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in my next one very soon. Bye guys.